So you're the guardian of the World Tree. Lloyd told me everything that's happened. So Ratatosk is beginning to awake. Please. Please tell me what's going on. What do you know? Emil, what do you think you are? The summon spirit Ratatosk? Or are you a human? Well, I... I want to be... human. What's the purpose of trying to figure out what Emil really is? Even if there's some other personality inside of him, Emil is still Emil. That's what I would like to believe as well. That Emil's human kindness is also the kindness of the summoned spirit Ratatosk. Then... then I guess... I really am the summoned spirit Ratatosk. Essentially, that is true. Lloyd and I have been working to prevent Ratatosk from wiping out humans and half-elves. Then you... Then you two have been trying to kill me. Just like Richter was trying to. No, while Ratatosk is the summoned spirit of the giant Karlon tree, he is also the guardian of the Ginungagap. Without Ratatosk, the Ginungagap would open and our world would become Nivelheim's domain. We must make sure that never happens. At the request of the summoned spirit Martell, we've been working to seal Ratatosk within the Ginungagap. Wait, what do you mean by that exactly? We intend to bury Ratatosk and the Centurion's cores within the door as a permanent seal. It's the only way to ward off interference from Nivelheim and protect mankind. Why didn't you tell us all of this before? We could have helped. We couldn't let Ratatosk know anything about what we were trying to do. Ratatosk has a vast network of monsters. It wasn't safe to discuss our plan except near the World Tree. The tree is impervious to Ratatosk's influence thanks to the new name it received. Had Ratatosk known that we received these instructions from Martell, he would have sought the tree's new name and then stolen it away from her. If Ratatosk gained possession of the tree, we would have no means to oppose him and all of you already know the name of the World Tree. That doesn't mean we would have said anything. We promised Martell that until the World Tree was stable, we wouldn't speak of its new name. But you mustn't forget the cores. They're beacons for ill intent that can cause their owners and everyone around them to go mad. If you were affected, you could have easily spoken the tree's name without meaning to. But what about Lloyd? As the name giver of the World Tree, I had Martell's protection. The core doesn't affect those blessed by the tree's summon spirit. But wait a minute. Why are you telling me all of this right now? Don't you remember? I'm Ratatosk. As you and said, we want to believe in you, Emil. Huh? Think about it, Emil. Have you ever, even once, enjoyed hurting someone? Even as Ratatosk's true will began to show itself, Emil didn't disappear. We want to believe that that has meaning. That Emil is not an artificially created personality. It's another spirit within Ratatosk. His conscience. So what you're saying is that even if Ratatosk wakes up, there's a chance he won't try to destroy everyone? Yes. If Ratatosk isn't the enemy, there's no need for us to seal him within the Ginungagap.
That's why I'll protect Emil. And Ratatosk's conscience. Maybe together we can find a way for everyone to live in peace. must find a way to merge the two personalities of Emil and Ratatosk into one single entity. If Emil's personality is able to survive, then Ratatosk will no longer be our enemy. And what if I disappear? We'll seal Ratatosk inside the Ginungagab. What'll happen to Emil's memory if we merge his two personalities into one? We have no idea. Maybe only the stronger of the two will remain, or they could mix together. Wait a minute. So you're saying there's no way to find out? Well, that's just the same as telling Emil he could die. You're right. That's why we asked Martel if there was a good way to do this. She told us to seek the help of the Summon Spirit of Heart in Asalia. I will give you all Rayards. With them, you can travel far more efficiently. Thank you for your help. Emil, I hope you understand that there's no guarantee this will keep you safe, but it's all we have right now. Of course, it's ultimately your choice. I'll leave the decision up to you. I'll go and see. The Summoned Spirit of Heart. All right then. Let's go. all knew the World Tree's name, but hid it from us. Sorry, Mr. Tenneby. I suppose I can forgive you. After all, the World Tree is no longer under the dominion of Lord Ratatosk. It has been entrusted to a new tree spirit. Oh, right, which is apparently named Martell as well. Does it have some connection to the goddess Martell? I wouldn't call it a connection. They're one and the same thing. What? Think of it this way. There was this woman worshipped as a goddess. She risked her life to regenerate the world, and then she was reborn as a tree spirit. So the goddess became a summon spirit? This world doesn't have a goddess anymore? What about the angels of Crucius? I cannot say for certain whether or not any gods exist, but Crucius, the host of angels so revered by the Church of Martell, no longer exists in this world. They set out for a destination much, much farther away than the heavens. Then they abandoned humanity? There comes a time when all children must fend for themselves. Perhaps we should think of ourselves as having reached adulthood. I see. But now that we're without a goddess, what will become of the Church of Martell? Jerry's still out on that one. They might go on worshipping a god that's no longer there, or maybe they'll change their focus to Martell in her spirit form. Whatever the case, the Church of Martell is on the decline. It may just fade away on its own. Lloyd, do you have a moment? Sure, what is it? I existed in this world even before it was divided in two. This was before the existence of both Crucius and the goddess Martell, and naturally the religion founded in her name. Right, I guess that makes sense. The Church of Martell wasn't formed until after the world split. 
It was way back then that I first met a half-elf by the name of Martel. She had a brother, younger than she by some years. He was called Mythos, the boy now known as Mythos the Hero. You met Mythos? Yes, they were very close. At that time, they were searching for some way to save this world, the goddess Martel, Mythos the Hero. I cannot believe that the name of Mythos' sister was mere coincidence. Does this mean that the origin of the Church of Martel is... Yes, it's just as you suspect. Then the spirit of this new tree truly is the Martel I once knew. It's not only Martel, though. Whatever became of Mythos? Have you heard anything? When we regenerated the world, Mythos lent us his power. Is that true? Then where is he now? Mythos became the world tree. Or at least that's what I believe. Huh? Sorry I couldn't say anything earlier. Lloyd! Hey, we figured you had your reasons, but still you gotta let us join in the fun too. I plan to from now on. Please count on us. Besides, now that we're not spending all our time worrying about you, we can really focus on the task at hand. I don't know. Having Lloyd with us might give us more to worry about than ever before. What was that, Genus? I believe you'll be forced to endure accusations and aspersions wherever we go. Are you up to it? I'll just have to work to win back the trust I've lost, one day at a time. I think that's all I can do. And we'll be there to help you. Hey, it's good to be back, everyone. Lloyd, you're really something. How so? Well, I could be the being who might destroy this world, but you called me your friend. You put your trust in me. There's nothing special about that. Besides, you're the one that's incredible. Huh? I've seen the way you lived in spite of what you are. That's how I know I was right to believe in you. I really like guys like you. Really? Well then, Lloyd, you should also live in a way that merits the trust of others. Professor? I recall giving you some homework six months ago. I assume you've completed all of it? Professor, I'm 19 years old. I've memorized my multiplication tables. Haven't I studied enough? Silence. Ever since the world was restored, you've done nothing but travel. You have yet to finish the curriculum. I will see that you finish what you've started. C come on, Lloyd. So the guardian of the world tree? Ewan. Right, Ewan. Is he an acquaintance? We crossed paths when we were restoring the world. He always looks a bit cross, but he's really doing all he can to find happiness. Actually, Colette, that's not exactly... Hmm, I think I know what you mean. He looks like he doesn't have much happiness in his life. Really? Hmm, that's one way to say it. You could also say the guy's just got no luck. Hey, hey guys, let's stop talking about him behind his back, okay? Don't forget, he helped us out quite a bit. Then again, he's caused his fair share of trouble, too. Sounds like a pretty complicated guy. I guess good looks aren't everything. So, Prisea, you have a thing for paw pads? Yes, I like how soft and springy they are. Regal and I are members of the Paw Pad Playmate Society. Yes. Huh? What the heck is that? It's a recreational club sponsored by the Lazareno Group. Oh, oh, sign me up too! We'd love to have you, Genus. They even have a Paw Pad Club? I guess the Lazareno Company is not to be trifled with.
Corinne. Who's that, Sheena? Corinne was a friend of mine. He was an artificial summon spirit created in Mel Tokyo. He had such cute paw pads. Yes, he did indeed. Oh, that's right, you're a summoner. Is Corinne with you now? No, not anymore. He was reborn as the summon spirit of heart, Various. That's the summon spirit we're gonna see now. That's right. It brings back a lot of memories. Various. A summon spirit, just like me. I'd forgotten how handy Rayards are. Hey, I agree with you for once, Shorty. I've always said a beautiful creature like myself belongs high in the majestic sky. Beautiful? You? <laughs> the dictionary in your brain has its definitions reversed.